Hi guys, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in New York. Today I wanted to do a quick video on something a lot of people have spoken to me about, about heart palpitations. And I thought I'd try and answer this question um, through a video. Now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and do smaller videos on Facebook, which are um, available to my friends uh, on Facebook. And they may not necessarily be available on, Google, on YouTube but then I'll probably try and do longer videos on YouTube as well, uh, just so that I can keep answering your questions. So one of the commonest questions I get with people who suffer from heart palpitations is when they feel that the nature of the palpitations have changed. Okay, so um, a lot of people say, look, I recognize my ectopics, they feel like this. Okay, this is what most people will feel. They, they feel like a misbeat followed by a boom. And I'm used to that, and I've been investigated for that, and I'm not worried about that because I've been told that I'm, my heart is fine. So this is what they describe. They say, I know what this is. Okay, that's what most people feel when they get their ectopics. However, then they say that, but more recently, I've noticed that things have changed. The nature of the ectopics have changed. So what I now get is a flutter or a run where my heart goes very fast for a few seconds. And that makes me worry because I'm worried that I may have VT, I may have AF, atrial fibrillation, non-sustained VT, VT, etc. And so am I still okay? Uh, so what they're now describing is this, okay? And so the big concern in people's minds is, is this now turning into atrial fibrillation or non-sustained VT, etc.? And um, uh, I thought I'd try and answer this because this causes a great deal of anxiety. So um, the first thing to say is, I think the only time uh, a heart, you know, th that you need to worry about this if it, if it goes on for 30 seconds or more, okay? Uh, so the definition of atrial fibrillation, when we look at monitors, we see a bunch of irregular heartbeats, but we don't call it atrial fibrillation unless it goes on for 30 continuous seconds or more. Similarly, uh, <clears throat> if it's ventricular tachycardia, you know, sustained ventricular tachycardia goes on for 30 seconds or more. So in general, if there are still sort of little flutters which go on for five seconds or six seconds, they're still a run of ectopic beats. They're not AFib, they're not VT, they're not non-sustained VT. It's only worth thinking about these things if they go on persistently for more than 30 seconds. Uh, so, um, and in young people, even if it is atrial fibrillation, if it goes on for more than 30 seconds. Atrial fibrillation in young people is not a dangerous condition, all right? It doesn't really mean anything. In a young person who has a structurally normal heart, who doesn't have high blood pressure or diabetes, atrial fibrillation doesn't signify any danger. It doesn't mean you're going to have a stroke. Um, and similarly, um, <clears throat> most heart rhythm disturbances uh, in young people who have structurally normal hearts are not dangerous, all right? So I hope this reassures you. Um, if you get this, for example, and it's changed and it becomes like this, and then you get this, and then it changes, that is not dangerous. That is still probably called, that is still called a run of ectopics. If you get this, I'm going to try and beat it out for 30 seconds so you know how long 30 seconds is. Sorry, 30 seconds is a very long time. All right, so then you worry about atrial fibrillation. But if it's smaller than that, then you don't need to worry about it. So I hope this reassures you. Um, uh, and uh, I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you so much. All the